Now at 6, a second model has been found dead in her apartment in downtown LA. And this happened just days before another model was found dead in her nearby apartment. Tonight, we have the latest on both of those cases. It's, it's senseless and I want some answers because my daughter is gone. It is not fair. I want everybody to find out who did this to her. She shouldn't, she shouldn't be gone. But we need to know. We need to know what happened. Family members of a beautiful young model who recently discovered her dead in her downtown Los Angeles apartment are crying foul play and explain they are frustrated at the lack of answers and information coming from investigators. 32-year-old Nicole Coates, known as Nikki, told friends she had a date on Friday, September 8th. That's the last they heard from her. She didn't answer calls or texts during the weekend, so her father and aunt visited her luxury apartment two days later, located at 8th and Grant. That's when they made the gut-wrenching discovery. I couldn't recognize her. You feel there was some level of violence with this death? Yes, I do. What's going on is Anton from AntonDaniels.com. I appreciate you guys for continuing to rock with me. I just been catching wind and I've been kind of following up. I was waiting till another potential story came out about it, but it's a lot of models, actually specifically two models that's been found dead in their apartments in LA. And it's disturbing, it's troubling. I don't know what kind of models they were. I don't know if they were Instagram models. I don't really think it cares, but the profile, it makes sense, right? Because A, I've been having conversations for a minute where I've been talking to people about the importance of profiling. They tell me that it's not important to profile. Well, serial killers are allegedly profiling. And also, we all know that it's important to profile if you wanna catch somebody doing something specific like killing models in LA, right? Here's the bigger caveat. It's never been safe for women to be out here by themselves. I'm out here walking around. I had to get some fresh air because I've been working and before I head over to the crib. Um, I'm not even gonna make it to the gym today, but I'll make it tomorrow morning before I head over to the crib. Uh, I wanted to step out and have this conversation with you guys. It's never been safe for women out here in these streets to be operating the way that they're operating and feeling like they can be independent. It never has been. Now, what people do versus what's best for them is two different things, right? And we see this playing out. Now, of course, a lot of people are gonna say, well, this is an anomaly and this doesn't really happen that often and we shouldn't take the exception and make it the rule. At what point in society has it ever been safe for even men to be operating in certain environments by themselves? Even in the group, carjackings is going wild over in Oakland, California. Chicago, they robbing people leaving over at the university now. You got basically unfettered access over in New York. They got tent cities going up. It's bad all the way down south. We see what's happening over in, in, in Atlanta, Miami, right? They try to sweep it under the rug, but the reality is that it's bad everywhere. And now we're finally starting to get some visibility. Another one of the posts that I've been seeing is that there's a ton of women, specifically black women, that has popped up missing that's really not getting that much visibility. It's not getting that much visibility. Now, I'm not championing the idea of having this conversation just because they're black, because I don't look at race or the color of your skin as the determining factor for whether or not I wanna have a conversation. What I am saying is that it's important that we pay attention to people that profile because if they're going after a specific demographic or if that's your forte as a serial killer, then it's important for us to pay attention to that and have that as a part of the conversation. Listen, there are so many women that's popping up missing out here in these streets. You gotta keep your head on the swivel. It's a lot of women that's popping up missing out here in these streets. Now, they're starting to get a profile because two women in LA both found dead in their apartments in Los Angeles just based off of a welfare check. Now, thank God that they have family members and people that rock with them that actually, you know, checked on them and said what was going on with them or they had people that cared for them, apparently. But listen, y'all out here feeling like y'all can go out here and 
do what you want to do and you got the sexual liberation movement and people are playing it the wrong way i'm telling you it usually does not end up well for you even if you don't get into a situation where you're completely under duress we all know that you continuing to put yourself out there makes you less valuable to your potential husband in no way shape or form does this work out for you ladies this is what i'm trying to communicate to you in no way shape or form does this work out for you in every scenario it plays out bad you capture more bodies you put yourself in a position to where now you're gonna be under duress you got serial killers out in the loose because they know that y'all out here having a sexual liberation movement and you can do what you, whatever you want to do whenever you want to do it you know you don't want protection from us because you don't want to be proactive and taking advice that i'm giving you and then moving accordingly you want us to come out here and save you from yourself when you get out here and do something that's not going to be best for you how many more social media posts do you have to see how many more instagram posts do you have to see from multiple different outlets and different influencers that's then saying, save the girls or don't put us in a position where our girls are now under duress. How many more do you have to see before you make the adjustment? How many bodies do you have to catch? How many people have to dish you and then say, yo, I'm not rocking with you because my homeboy hit it and then you saying that, no, you're not supposed to pay attention to body count. In every way, shape or form, this does not play out well for you. And I'm trying to tell you that you need to move a little bit differently. I really hope that they catch the killers out there in LA. I really wish that, you know, all of the different women, no matter what color you are, but obviously it's so many of them that's black are found. And then on the other side of that, I wish y'all would stop putting yourself in a situation where y'all make yourselves targets. One of the things that we know is running rampant in communities and it's not even being addressed on a federal level to my extent or, or on a local level in any really major city is all of the sex trafficking that's going on. It's bad out here, man. It's bad everywhere. And anywhere it can happen. There's no specific place that you're safe from. There's monsters everywhere. It's not just one specific city. But where these people are moving to and where they make themselves the most available is obvious where the people are going to move to because just as much as you got visibility into it, whoever these monsters and these serial killers are, they got visibility into it also. I'm glad that it's finally starting to get some traction and I hope these women are actually taking the, the super proactive move to make an adjustment and not find yourself under duress or in a situation where you gotta check on one of your loved ones hoping that everything is well because the worst possible feeling in the world I can only imagine is to not even know what's going on with your people or something happened to them or you gotta do a welfare check and in that time between you finding out what's really going on and the time between you actually calling for the welfare check, it gotta be agonizing. It has to be absolutely one of the worst things ever. I love you, I'm appreciating you. Make sure you tap into the Patreon, link is in the description as well as pinned to the top of the chat. Get that T channel, 30% off your first order plus a free gift. I'm out.